All right. What's up, my friends? Welcome to Mindset Monday. You guys are watching here on the YouTube channel. I'm actually about to go live into the Facebook group. So stand by if you're here watching the replay on the YouTube channel. Make sure that you are number one subscribed. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Also, be sure to like this video and help get this boosted out there and get more people seeing this now. Let me jump in and go live into the Facebook group and we'll get this party started. So just bear me, bear with me uh here on the replay just a minute i'm gonna go live right now let me just make sure i go here do, 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 group boom and then we go boom 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 here we are and we're gonna go live all right good all right then i also got to set up a couple other things once we are live i gotta rock the everyone tag let everybody know and also uh, i gotta send out the push notification once we pop into this live right here all right good bam boom boom Looks like we're good there. Let's come back here. Bear with me, guys. Just getting everything going here on this uh, rock and rolling mindset Monday, my friend. So stand by just a second here as we get this party started and get this rolling here. So hang on, just a just a hot minute here, my friends. Going to uh, send out the push notification. Hopefully, uh, Bill, you are in here and can rock out the everyone tag. As I've already used my everyone tag today for the poll that we did earlier, which I'm going to be explaining that to you guys in just a minute. So just stand by, stand by, stand by. All right. So stand by. Hang on. All right. Just going to grab this link, send out the push notification here in just a hot second. Get you guys rolling here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Actually, ugh, man, oh man, oh man, grab the wrong one. Stand by, stand by, stand by. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Should do it. Let me copy that. Come back over here. Pop that in there. Boom. Preview. Boom. Let me make sure this goes to the right linker, and it sure does. All right, here we go. Boom. Push notification out and about. Once you guys get the push notification from the app, uh, do me a favor and just comment the word push down below and uh, we'll be good to go there. Okay, cool. So that's off and running. Boom. I got it on my phone. Fan freaking tastic. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, hanging out and waiting for me to kind of get everything going here. All right, there we go right there. All right. So awesome stuff right there, guys. Uh, Bill, if you're in here, Bill, Kirstie, one of you guys, if you guys do the everyone tag and let everybody know that we are officially live, going to keep it, uh, hopefully short and sweet today. Um, <laughs> going to keep it short and sweet today, guys, because, uh, a lot going on, man, a lot going on. I am officially moving this week at the end of this week on Friday, we we're packing up the U-Haul headed down to Myrtle beach hundred percent. This is officially my last week in New England, and uh, I'm totally okay with it. I am literally uh, totally, totally okay with it. So uh, warm weather, here we go. As a matter of fact, my, even my hands are a little cold today because it's like, I don't know, 30-something degrees outside, and I'm just, I'm just ready for warm weather, my friends. I am 100% ready for warm weather. But here's the deal, guys. Uh, we have a really, really awesome and epic um, – Teachable Tuesday headed your way tomorrow. So make sure that you guys, number one, are registered for Teachable Tuesday. So let me go ahead and get you guys uh, the link for Teachable Tuesday. I'm going to drop that into the comments now. Uh, if you guys haven't registered yet for Teachable, make sure you guys go do that right now. Click off here, go get registered, come back here, comment the word uh, registered once you guys are officially registered for tomorrow's Teachable Tuesday, and we're going to be doing something that uh, we have not done in a while, and I'm actually pretty excited for this because uh, tomorrow we're going to be rolling out um, kind of like an Ask Us Anything training, and we haven't done this in quite a while. Plus, we're going to be letting you guys know about something new that we have coming your way. We're in the planning phases on the back end, um, and you guys know when we always roll something out, it's you know, we always put some thought into it. So whether it be like a new funnel, the app, anything like that, we always do our best on the back end to make sure we can deliver to you guys on the front end. So that's something that we're going to be talking about. Um, you know, we're going to be talking about 
uh, tomorrow and kind of showing you guys what we're going to be working on, what's going to be coming your way. Maybe it might be ready for March. If it's not ready for March, it will definitely be ready for April. But we're going to be letting you guys know what that is tomorrow. So let me go ahead and share my screen and show you guys right here. One of the things that we did, and this is now one of the peach, uh, featured pin posts right at the top of our Facebook group page here. So what would be great is if all of you guys, uh, when you get a second, come on over here to this poll and throw uh, throw your vote in. Let us know, um, you know what you guys think are some questions that you guys need help with. Also, if there's something specifically that you need help with that is not here, so please, please, please make sure that you guys read, you know, read these current questions that are here. And then if you see something that you want an answer to that you don't see here, you guys can go right here and you guys can add your own questions. But I please kindly, kindly, kindly ask you this. If you're going to ask, you know, if you're going to put a poll question in there, <clears throat> just like I covered in my post. So I'm going to kind of reiterate exactly what I said in this post, guys. Um, please make sure that your questions are specific, okay? Don't, you know, don't do the generic, help, I'm lost. I have no idea what to do. When you say stuff like that, guys, it literally helps no one. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help me. There's no way we can help you with, if you say something like, help, I'm lost. How are we supposed to know where you are? How are we supposed to know, like, what you've done, what you haven't done, what you've accomplished, what you haven't accomplished, what videos you've watched, what videos you haven't watched, where you are in the process. We know nothing. So saying a blanket statement like, help, help, I'm so lost, doesn't do anybody any good. It doesn't help you and it doesn't help you move forward. So if you're going to add a question to this poll here, please, please, please make sure that it is very specific. Be as specific as possible, okay? Because the more specific your question is, the better answer we can get you, okay? So tomorrow, as we dive into Teachable Tuesday, we're going to be answering all of these questions here. So all the questions on the poll, these are common questions that we often get. We're going to answer those. And then any additional questions uh, that we get on the poll, we're also going to be answering you guys live. And we're also going to open up a spot at the end of tomorrow's Teachable Tuesday uh, to answer any questions live. As long as we have time, uh, we'll open up and talk about uh, you know, answer any questions that you guys might have live if we don't address those uh, throughout Teachable Tuesday tomorrow night. So we're uh, very excited about that. It's a great chance when obviously we can just kind of be in front of you and the common questions that we get. Hey, uh, what hashtags are the best hash hashtags to use? What times are the best times to post? Like, should I post all my videos at once? Like, we're going to be answering all those questions live. So great opportunity for you guys to get in there to learn and uh, do all those things. So again, please make sure you guys are in attendance. Make sure you guys get registered. Uh, I already dropped the uh, Teachable Tuesday link. So I'm going to drop that one more time. Uno mas. Make sure you guys go ahead and do that. Now, moving on to the second thing. Let me take a little sip right there. Give me just a second here. Man, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. A lot of people messaging me. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> one thing is very interesting, man. Um, and my wife and I are going through this right now. Like, um, obviously we're moving. We're moving out of New England and we're moving down to Myrtle Beach, right? But what's crazy is all of our friends and family are coming out of the woodwork. And we got people that like, people that we haven't spoken to in years, like literally years. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, let's get together this week, man. It's like, and, and, you know, <laughs> sometimes we're like, where were you for the past five years? I've been around for five years and you haven't reached out. Now all of a sudden you want to hang out? Like, no, <laughs> but anyway, so, sometimes you just got to keep it real. Anyway. Um, one of the things I want to talk to you guys about is this is important. This is really, really important. So please pay attention. It's about mastering your mind to master your money, okay? And this is this is really, really what I'm going to explain to you and what I'm going to talk about a little bit today is really, really simple on one side of your mouth, 
but also on the other, it's really, really complex and really, really challenging. Okay. But I will narrow it down to a couple simple things that I want you guys to focus on. So overall, right? The umbrella, right? Master your mind to master your money. What does that really mean, Daniel? What are you talking about? Well, plain and simple, if you want to achieve a certain thing with your business. So let me ask you guys this. What is your goal? And I don't care if you guys are brand new, if this is your very first Mindset Monday, uh, if you've been here for six months, 12 months, whatever it is, what is your first short-term goal? Meaning like you haven't hit it yet. What is your first goal with savings time? And by the way, guys, you can have multiple goals. You can have a short-term goal, a midterm goal, a long-term goal. What is your first financial goal? And all of you guys should have a goal. Because at the end of the day, if you don't know what you're reaching for, how could you ever expect to have it, right? What is your first financial goal with Savings Highway and the Funnel Team? Comment that down below, okay? What is your first financial goal? So Michael says a 50-acre ranch. Well, how much is that 50-acre ranch? Where is that 50-acre ranch? You know, how much money are you going to put down on that 50-acre ranch? Like, I'd have all that stuff bullet pointed out. So what is your first financial goal with Savings Highway Global? Everybody comment that right now. The other thing I want to know too is let's also welcome our new members, guys. Who is here? Um, how many people are here that got started in the month of March? If you guys got started in the month of March, in other words, in the last six days, do me a favor, comment the word March uh, down below. Okay. Comment the word March down below. If you guys got started in the month of March, I want to see, uh, I want to see how many newbies actually made it here to, uh, mindset Monday. And this is probably realistically, this is probably your, uh, could be your very first mindset Monday. Maybe you're watching the replay on YouTube, which by the way, all of our replays, really simple, really easy to get to mindset, Monday, replays.com teachable Tuesday, replays.com focus Friday, replays.com. All very simple, right? Man, look at all these newbies coming in. So guys, shout out. Make sure you guys are welcoming our new members here. Really, really great to see you guys here. Uh, I'm going to do my best to nail these names, okay? Uh, Darius, Darius, I apologize either way if I screwed that up. Uh, welcome, good to have you here. Uh, Jim, Jim, shout out. Jim just got started yesterday. Way to go, Jim, awesome. Lauren, good to see you. George, welcome. Uh, Josipa? Josipa, Josipa, again, I, you know, I suck at names. I apologize, but hopefully I got those right. But either way, guys, uh, welcome all our new members here. Great to have you guys here. Uh, super awesome. Sean with a very specific goal, $5,162 a month to pay my mortgage. Very specific goal. Love it. So here's the deal, guys. For everyone that put down a goal, everyone that commented a financial goal, I saw 500 a month. I saw 5,000 a month. 3,000 a month, 1,500 a month, whatever that goal is, right? In order for you guys to get that, you guys got to understand that ultimately in order to hit that goal, in order to hit those financial goals, it's all got to start up here. It all has to start up here. And the first thing you do, the very first thing that you have to do is you have to believe that you're going to hit that goal. Okay. Because if you don't, and, and this is where it gets really simple, really, 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 really simple. If you don't believe that you're going to hit that goal, you're not going to act like you've hit that goal. You got to believe it first. Okay. You have to believe that you are going to hit that goal. And then you take that belief and you transfer that belief into action. Okay. You literally write down your goal and then you start acting towards your goal. You start taking action towards your goal, whatever your goal is. The, the dollar amount is almost irrelevant. It's about, it really circles back to whether or not you believe that you're going to reach that goal. And then you start acting towards that goal. Because at the end of the day, and let's let's be really crystal clear and simple about this. If you don't believe that you're ever going to hit your goal, you're not going to act towards it. That's a fair statement, right? 
let's circle back. Let's go back even further about having a goal in the first place. And this is why I asked a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are new, you need to have a goal and you need to have it written down because at the end of the day, if you don't have something written down, if you don't have something on paper, if you haven't actually put down a goal that you're going to go after, I mean, and this is really, really simple. So hear me out when I say this. If you don't have a goal written down on paper and you don't have something to act towards, what are you working for? What are you working towards? You don't even know. It's literally like running a business blind. It's, you know, you might as well just be doing this. You might as well just be doing this and then hoping and praying that things work out. But once you have a goal written down, you believe in that goal and then you start acting towards that goal. So far, does that make sense? Does that make sense, everybody? Okay, you got to believe it and then you got to act towards it. Does that make sense? Everybody get that so far? Does that make sense? Comment makes sense, if that makes sense. And yes, Albert nailed it. Think on paper. Think on paper. Now, in order to keep acting towards that goal, and this is this is this is the journey right here, guys. This is the journey, and the journey never, ever, ever, ever stops. You never get to a point where you're like, I've arrived. I've made it. I don't need to invest in myself anymore. Like you never officially check that box. Okay. So once you start believing in it, once you start acting towards it, as you start down the pathway on your journey, believing in it and acting towards it is only a very small part of that journey. That's just, that's just, so I want you, I want you guys to try to visualize this, right? First thing you do, you join the business, you get all excited. Like, oh, I just started a business. Ah, okay, now what, right? Write down a goal. You think on paper, you write it down, you believe in it. And it's also important too, guys, that your goals are very realistic, okay? 500 a month, no problem. 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 20,000 a month. Those are all very doable goals. The question is, is it believable for you? So you believe in it. You write it down. You believe in it. You start acting towards it. What does the acting towards it look like? You getting out there, going through the fast start guide, especially those of you guys that are new, okay? Those of you guys that started in March, right? You're going through the fast start guide. You're creating pieces of content. You're acting towards your goal, right? But one of the most important factors, guys, that a lot of people leave out, and this is this is where we're gonna we're gonna reel it all in. Okay, we're gonna reel it all in and circle it all the way back. Once you get started and you're going down the pathway towards your journey and you're working towards your goal, you're acting, you're taking daily action towards your goal because action cures fear. Okay. If you're scared about making a piece of content, if you're scared about putting yourself on camera, you're scared about building a brand, you're scared about, oh, what will the neighbors say? Like you're scared of that stuff. Action cures fear. Once you start going down that pathway, one of the most important things you can do, if not the most important thing you could do is dedicate time to you and your own personal development every single day without fail, every single day, okay? And guys, success leaves clues. And I can tell you from experience that in the last six years, there isn't a day that has gone by that I haven't listened to an empowering audio, read part of a book, said a, a daily affirmation every single day. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tie this all together with this. Okay, I'm going to tie it all together right here. And I want you guys to write this down. You guys can comment this if you want. You guys can comment this, what I'm about to say, if you want. But I would prefer 
that you guys write it down because this is really important. Important, okay? Work harder on yourself than you do on your business. Simple as that. Work harder on yourself than you do on your business. And if you do that, all of the other stuff, all of the stumbling blocks, all of the I don't know hows, all of the I'm not sures, all of the I'm not, I don't know what to do next, all of those little stumbling blocks that you would hit along the way in your pathway, in your journey, all of those other things will get quieter and quieter and easier and easier and seem less and less like a big deal and more and more just like a stepping stone. Does that make sense, guys? If that makes sense, do me a favor, comment the words make sense, okay? Work harder on yourself than you do on your business and everything else will work itself out. Because when you agree and believe in yourself, when you agree to work on yourself and work on your mindset, your attitude, your development, when you agree with yourself to work on those things every single day, here's what, you know, here's an example of what happens. You get to a point and you're like, oh, I can't figure out how to do this, this next thing in my business, whether it be editing a video on CapCut, creating a YouTube channel, you know, maybe you're setting up an email autoresponder or whatever. When you're working on yourself every single day and your mindset and your attitude, your demeanor, your posture is all in alignment, figuring out how to get through that next step becomes so much easier. Whereas, let's flip it around. If you don't work on yourself every single day and you don't do the personal development and you don't work on your attitude and your mindset and your posture and your confidence and you don't work on those things, you come to a stumbling block in your business, quitting becomes so much easier. It's so easy to quit and give up Oh, yeah, you know what? This is too complicated for me. Yeah, this is too, you know, I'm, I, yeah, I just can't figure this out. Yeah, you know what? I tried. And now, you know, it's, just, it's easier for me to quit than it is to keep going. Don't put yourself in that position where quitting is easier than it is to keep going. Because from experience, and there's so many people, here on our team, so many people on our team that will tell you from experience, real life experience, that when you keep going, it is so worth it. So worth it. I mean, I'm about to move out of New England down to our brand new home in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. 1800 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, brand new, never been lived in before, you know, and, and the house, is, the house is everything we want, it's everything we want in a home, you know, yeah. everything we want, granite countertops, like the master ensuite is just ridiculous. It's freaking huge. So much closet space. Just love it. We're 18 minutes from the beach, you know, beautiful weather. I mean, like it, it's, and I feel totally blessed, grateful for this amazing opportunity, which is allowing me to do this. Kirsty and her husband, Brogan, just bought a brand new 3,000 square foot home in Colorado, which is everything that they've been working towards. Bill, living it up on a vacation down, down in uh, Delray Beach. And uh, I don't know where he is, Fort Lauderdale, somewhere, somewhere around that area. You know, and the beautiful thing about that is like, <laughs> like, I love how Bill travels. He just buys a one-way ticket and he comes home when he feels like it because that's what this business allows him to do. You know, someone like Catherine who gets to be a stay-at-home mom and she gets to be home with her daughter, her daughter every single day 
because of this business. Like if any one of us had been like, oh, yeah, cap cut's a little too complicated. I think I'm just going to quit instead. We would never be accomplishing these things. We'd never be achieving these things. And you, you right now, today, have that same opportunity. You have the same chances, the same opportunities as me or anybody else on our team. Everybody, and that's the beautiful part about this business, my friends. Everyone has the same exact opportunity to achieve whatever you want. You just need to believe it, act on it, and then work and maintain that belief and that action every single day. It never stops. The journey always continues every single day. So don't ever stop, guys. Find a way every single day to work on yourself because the harder you work on yourself, the more you work on yourself, the easier your business will become. And that's a known fact. That's a promise. That's a fact. Again, work on yourself harder than you work on your business. Everything else will work itself out. And there you have it, right? There you have it. And it's, you know what, guys, it's, it's easy to tell. It's easy to tell when someone's not working on themselves. It's easy to tell when someone is in disbelief. You're like, oh, I can't. I don't know how. You know, I don't have the time. Anytime someone's in disbelief like that, it just means they don't believe it up here. It just means that they're not working on themselves. They're not working on their confidence. They're not working on their attitude. They're not working on their personal development because it's easier to come up with the excuses. And I will leave you with this. I will leave you with my favorite quote of all time. Top three. Top three. It's from Jim Rohn. Those of you guys don't know Jim Rohn. This is another thing especially those of you guys that are new. You guys can comment this below if you want. Or, again, you really should be writing this down, okay? Write this down right here. Here it is. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. That's it. That's that, my friends, is as simple as life gets. I'll say that one more time and then we'll end it. If you really want to do something, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. And that's it. Keep it simple, my friends. Keep it simple and keep moving forward. Make sure you guys get registered for Teachable Tuesday. I'm going to plop that link in there one more time. Okay. So go ahead, get registered for that. Make sure you guys head to the poll that is in the group right now. Make sure you guys go vote on that poll. And also uh, be sure to, if you guys see something that you guys want answered that is not in the poll, make sure to add that question in there. Please be as specific as possible. And that is it, my friends. We'll see you guys live on tomorrow's Teachable Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you guys there. Have an awesome day.